In the world of digital marketing, everything is not perfect or hunky-dory all the time. When things go wrong, maybe you have a disagreement about what should get paid, what should not get paid, that's when things can go a little awry. So today we're going to talk about what do you do if your website gets hijacked and is held hostage by your webmaster. Does that sound interesting? That's what we're going to talk about today. I want to tell you about a story that happened recently to one of my clients. They own a sign company in Denver, Colorado. They've been established for over 15 years. They're findable all over Google. And then one day they have a argument with their web designer. The web designer goes sideways. My client didn't do anything or change anything based on that web designer getting upset. And what the web designer did is go in and change the passwords on the website, the hosting, and even the domain name. So he held those hostage and their ranking plummeted, their lead stopped, and he sat with all the keys to their business kingdom. This is unacceptable, incredibly bad practice on the part of this developer, but what do you do, right? You feel powerless to make it out on the other side. What do you do? Well, just like in any hostage situation, do you pay their demands? Do you try to go around them and get it back? Or do you pull in attorneys? Well, unfortunately, in this situation, we had to turn to attorneys. But what we did do is a couple of very strategic steps to make them more findable when they got the website back. So the first thing, unfortunately, we did is we had to call a lawyer. I'm not a lawyer. I don't give legal advice. But if your webmaster takes your website, that should be your first call. Number two, we learned that the hosting, so the company that actually hosts your website, you have no recourse because the webmaster went in and changed the passwords. He also changed the information on the account to his name. So when we went in to try to salvage it, we called customer service and they're like, we can't help you. Your name's not even on the account. So as you can see, good times. So the hosting, Right, make sure that, again, those passwords are locked and loaded, meaning that you've got some kind of tool to help protect those passwords. Same with, so we do use a tool called LastPass. There's lots of other tools out there. It's also a great protocol is when you let someone go. So we're letting a website master go or they've taken the website from us based on a disagreement. So we wanna make sure and go in and immediately change the passwords on your hosting account. Number three is the domain name. Now, again, this has an expiration date. You need to track down your logins for the domain name and change them immediately. So we wanna make sure that we change the passwords. Don't use your dog's name or your anniversary or you know, try to be really creative in how you set up your passwords. And then finally, this is gonna be a difficult period. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many calls I've received from clients who are desperate to get their websites back. So what we did for um, the sign company is we went ahead and purchased the domain name with an INC behind it. So we were able to purchase the domain name, their legacy domain, but we put an INC and then we built a new website on the INC. So what we were able to do, so what I mean by that is your domain INC.com. So what we were able to do is we went into a website called the Wayback Machine, also called archive.org. What we were able to do is pull the entire website from a it, takes a, it takes like a stamp of your site. We were able to go to archive.org, pull the entire website down from there, and then populate it here because we couldn't get access to the code. There was no way for us to rebuild the website. So we had to start from scratch. But because we had archive.org, we were able to pull down the exact look and feel. You'll see there's all these really interesting bumps when it came and visited your website and pulled a copy of it. So that was like a seriously helpful way for us to triage and get everything back. So what we did again is we called a lawyer, unfortunately, hosting, we immediately changed the passwords, the domain name, we made sure that we had all of the passwords again changed. And then finally we went in and we created the um, website, so yourdomaininc.com, 
And then we also went into archive.org. We took that snapshot and were able to create a website over a weekend with my design partners. So I'm sorry to talk about this stuff because it really, it hurts me because I know how much this hurts businesses. So please be prepared for the worst. You know, it's always like plan for the best and prepare for the worst. Because when you have to go in and do this triage, it's full of stress, it's full of um, anger, and it's full of, you know, just raw emotion. And we can do things that are just not in keeping with who we are because the anger really kicks in. So be prepared, follow these steps, and hopefully you'll never have to go and do website triage from a website designer who has held your website hostage. If you're interested in preventing a website triage sort of situation, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so that you will be notified every time a new video gets published. Watch them, they're short, they're digestible, and they're really gonna help you with your online presence.